Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's not only fascinating but also incredibly vital in today's world, bullet-resistant glass. Now, I know when we hear bullet-resistant glass, our minds might instantly jump to action movies where the hero is dodging bullets behind a seemingly impenetrable glass shield. But beyond the Hollywood dramatics, this technology is a real-world lifesaver with a rich history and some pretty amazing science behind it. So, how does bullet-resistant glass work? Where did it come from? And how has it evolved over time? Stick around because we're about to break it all down. Let's rewind the clock and take a look at where it all began. The concept of bullet-resistant glass dates back to the early 20th century. Interestingly, the origins of this technology are closely tied to the development of laminated glass, which wasn't initially intended to stop bullets at all. The story goes back to 1903, when a French chemist named Edouard Benedictus accidentally dropped a glass flask that had been coated with a thin layer of plastic cellulose nitrate. Surprisingly, the glass shattered, but didn't break apart. This accidental discovery sparked the idea that glass could be made safer, less prone to shattering into dangerous shards. Initially, laminated glass was developed with car windshields in mind. As cars became more widespread, so did car accidents, and traditional glass proved to be a hazard. Laminated glass, with its safety layer, became the go-to solution. Fast forward to the 1930s, and the idea of using laminated glass as a protective barrier against bullets started to gain traction. This was during a time of great social unrest, with increasing violence and crime, especially during the Prohibition era in the United States. People were looking for ways to protect themselves, and bullet-resistant glass emerged as a valuable innovation. By World War II, bullet-resistant glass had found its way into military applications, protecting soldiers in combat vehicles and airplanes. The technology continued to evolve, and by the time the 1970s rolled around, it was being used in banks, armored vehicles, and even for personal protection. So, how exactly does bullet-resistant glass stop a speeding bullet? The answer lies in the materials and the way they're layered together. Bullet-resistant glass isn't just one solid piece. It's actually a sandwich made up of multiple layers of glass and plastic, usually polycarbonate. The goal is to create a barrier that can absorb and dissipate the energy of a bullet, rather than shattering like regular glass would. Let's break it down layer by layer. The outer layer, glass. The first layer is typically made of regular glass. When a bullet strikes this layer, the glass may crack, but it's designed to absorb some of the initial impact energy. The middle layer, polycarbonate. This is where the magic happens. Polycarbonate is a type of plastic known for its incredible toughness and impact resistance. When the bullet passes through the outer glass layer and hits the polycarbonate, the plastic deforms and stretches, absorbing a large portion of the bullet's kinetic energy. The polycarbonate doesn't shatter, instead it acts like a net, catching and slowing down the bullet. The inner layer, glass or polycarbonate. The final layer is often another layer of glass or polycarbonate. By the time the bullet reaches this layer, it's usually been slowed down so much that it either gets trapped in the glass or, at the very least, doesn't have enough force to penetrate through. The combined effect of these layers working together is what makes the glass bullet-resistant. The bullet might crack or even shatter the outer layers, but by the time it reaches the inner layers, it's been robbed of much of its energy, preventing it from causing harm on the other side. One of the most important things to note is that bullet-resistant glass is not truly bulletproof. 
Given enough force or repeated strikes in the same spot, it can eventually be penetrated. That's why you'll often see this kind of glass described as bullet-resistant, rather than bulletproof. It's designed to resist bullets, not stop them indefinitely. Over the decades, bullet-resistant glass has seen significant advancements. Early versions were thick, heavy, and not exactly easy on the eyes. Think of those thick green-tinted panes you might see in old bank windows. But as technology has advanced, so has the glass. One of the major breakthroughs came with the development of newer, lighter materials. For instance, today's bullet-resistant glass often incorporates advanced polymers that are much lighter than traditional glass while offering even better protection. These materials have allowed manufacturers to create glass that's not only more effective at stopping bullets, but also more versatile in its applications. Modern bullet-resistant glass is also much clearer than its predecessors. Earlier versions often had a noticeable green tint due to the thickness of the glass layers. Today, advancements in material science have made it possible to produce glass that is nearly as clear as regular glass, which is a big deal when you're installing it in places like storefronts, offices, or even residential homes. Another significant evolution in bullet-resistant glass is the development of one-way bullet-resistant glass. This type of glass is designed to allow bullets to be fired out from one side while preventing them from coming in from the other. This is particularly useful in situations where occupants need to return fire, such as in military vehicles or secure buildings. The manufacturing process has also evolved. Initially, creating bullet-resistant glass was a labor-intensive process that involved manually layering sheets of glass and plastic together. Today, automated processes and advanced adhesives have streamlined production, making it faster, more reliable, and more consistent. Bullet-resistant glass has found its way into a variety of real-world applications. One of the most common places you'll see it is in banks. The glass provides a crucial layer of protection for tellers and customers alike, deterring would-be robbers and ensuring that any attempted heists are much less likely to succeed. Armored vehicles are another common application. Whether it's a military vehicle in a conflict zone or an armored car transporting cash, bullet-resistant glass plays a key role in keeping occupants safe. In fact, the glass used in these vehicles is often customized to withstand multiple rounds, ensuring that the vehicle can stay operational even in the most dangerous situations. You'll also find bullet-resistant glass in places like embassies, government buildings, and even some private residences. High-profile individuals or those living in dangerous areas often install this type of glass as an added layer of security. It's also used in police cars, especially those used in high-risk operations. And let's not forget about schools. In response to increasing concerns about school shootings, many educational institutions have started installing bullet-resistant glass in doors and windows. This extra layer of protection can make a critical difference in keeping students and staff safe during an emergency. And there you have it. The fascinating world of bullet-resistant glass, from its humble beginnings to its critical role in today's safety measures. It's amazing to think how an accidental discovery over a century ago has evolved into a technology that saves lives every day. Whether it's protecting people in banks, schools, or military vehicles, bullet-resistant glass is a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of safety. What's really inspiring is how this technology continues to evolve, getting stronger, lighter, and more versatile, adapting to the ever-changing challenges of our world. It's a reminder that behind every piece of technology we take for granted, there's a story of innovation, creativity, and a desire to make the world a safer place. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.
Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.